What's what's going on? What's going on? Let me just uh, start by saying I am glad that you guys decided to change your lives and you decide to change something that will help you and your family out in the near future. With that said, y'all 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 thought to yourselves, what's the next step? Y'all said to yourselves, I want to make more money than what I'm making right now. How to do it? How to do it? How to make more money, how to save and make my future a little bit better financially than it is now. Let's get into it. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. Thank you for listening. And if you guys like what I do over here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, and that thank you button for support of the channel. Let's just jump right into it. So you guys liked it, the top five, top five trucking jobs for truck drivers that got finished with their truck driving schools? Yes, you did. Nice views on that, by the way. Go check that out. I am back with another top five. But this time, it's for you broke guys. This time, it's for you guys that can't afford the school. Y'all want to get into trucking, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, y'all finances is just not there to help you cover the 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, sometime $10,000 that you need to get your CDL. And you guys are wondering to yourself, like, I want to get into trucking. I want, I really want to get into trucking, but who or where going to help me get my CDL? Now, with that said, Lockout Men is here to help you with that decision, all right? With that advice. I'm not going to make you do anything, but with the advice that I can give you, maybe that can help you with your decision. So let's just cut to the chase and get right into my top five. Number one will be Rail. Yes, Rail Trucking has a sponsored truck driving school that will help you get your CDL. And on top of that, they will pay you while you're learning to get your CDL. And on the flip side of that, after they pay you and you get your CDL, of course, you will have that job from rail waiting for you. Rail, number one. Number two, prime. Yes, sir. Now, the difference with Prime than Rail, unfortunately, Prime is not going to pay you while you learning to get your CDL. But what Prime will do, they will advance you $200 a week for food or whatever the case. But remember, after you get your CDL and you get on with Prime, you got to pay that money back. Prime is a top-notch training school, which has some good instructors over there. But on the flip side, you got to get a good trainer to go out to train. And of course, you'll have a job waiting for you at Prime, number two. Number three, I'm going to have to put Swift. What? Swift Academy, yes, yes. What? Yes. Swift Academy. I'm going to have to put that as my number three. Now, with Swift Academy, they tighten down a little bit, but they still would give you the opportunity to come in and get your CDLs through the Swift Academy. Now, they don't pay you for, they don't pay you for while you're getting your Swift, while you're getting your license, but they will pay for the hotel, and that's about it. I don't think they're going to pay for anything else. Everything else, you're going to have to get it. Once you get your CDLs through Swift, of course, guess what? You got a job with Swift. So Swift Academy would be the number three choice. Number four, I'm going to have to go with Snyder. Yes, 
I'm going to have to go over. Even though Snyder is strict on every policy possible, there's still the boot camp of truck driving schools. I'm going to say this about Snyder. If you don't go to a school, trust me, going to Snyder and going through their CDL program is just like going through school or outside school for your CDLs because Snyder, they're going to they gonna train you on everything. Then you're going to have to go home. You're going to have to do some homework. You're going to have to bring your homework back. I'm telling you, the boot camp of CDL programs will be Snyder, and that will be my number four CDL school for trucking, all right? And last but not least, number five was a toss-up. I'm going to have to give it to C.R. England. What? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to give it. I'm going to have to give number five to CR England. And here's why, right? I talked to a whole bunch of drivers that had their issues, their ups and downs, their protocols with CR England. But if you want to get in and get your CDL license quick, fast, and in a hurry, CR England will be that program for you. Now, I'm not saying that CR England is a bad program. I'm not saying that CR England is a bad program. But for the other people that got their CDL license through CR England's program, they had bad experience after getting on with CR England. But CR England. If you want to get in, get your license, and get out, CR England will be that program for you, all right? That's all I got to say about CR England will be the number five choice for your CDL, especially for you guys that has financial issues, all right? Honorable mention, okay? I do have an honorable mention, and that honorable mention will be Stevens Transport. Yes, Stevens Transport do have a CDL program, and they also have some good trainers over there as well. Check out my girl Pinky, for example. She loves Stevens. Been there for quite a while and been training for a long time. She got some good, she got some, she got some, good graduates that, that upgraded from her. And if you a guy and that's interested in getting your CDL, and then after you get your CDL, you want to go out training, make sure you look up Pinky at Stevens Transport. All right. What's your top five? Let me know. And also let me know in the comments of your experience with getting your CDLs if you couldn't afford getting your CDL. Let me know what, what trucking company you went through and your experience with getting your CDLs. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got pops. Urge Red and Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I don't make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, bum, bum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.